Uh, this is the human DNA double helix. This remarkable and elegant structure contains the genetic instructions for the biological development of all cellular forms of life on Earth. Everyone's DNA is unique. For a century, criminologists have used the technique of DNA fingerprinting to verify and reveal the identity of individuals. Today, uh, samples of everyone's DNA is collected into highly secure digital banks, accessible only by the civil authorities. Oh, did I mention that I entered the Western Motocross Finals? Oh, you ride motorcycles? That's right. Don't want to brag, but I'm favored to win. Wow, that's like so hot. You said it. They happen to be one of the top racers in the country. Just ask Maria. She's seen me race a few times, right, Maria? Whatever. What's the matter? Feeling left out? No, I'm trying to learn something here. Why don't you try it sometime? <laughs> Some friend you are. Hey, Maria, I was thinking we could all go to the Java Hut after class. Don't like coffee. <laughs> Since when? What about pizza? You like pizza, right? Diego de la Vega? Yeah? You're under arrest. What? I mean, I might have thrown a little gum on the sidewalk, but... You can discuss the charges with the judge later. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is Pueblo Grande, owned and operated by Mayor Horace Martinez, man of the people. Hey! Sorry, Maria, I, I only meant... Let's go. You got a date with the judge. See, Senor de la Vega, you have a rap sheet a mile long. Larceny, felonies, parking tickets, jaywalking. You're a one-man crime spree. That's... that's impossible. I've never committed a crime in my life. Looks like you know what you say. It's a wonder why you haven't been caught soon. But I'm just a college student. You've got the wrong man. <laughs> yeah, there's another identical Diego de la Vega who also happens to be the son of wealthy Alejandro de la Vega. The court sets the bail at one million dollars. One million dollars? That's crazy! I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> then you might wish to use your one phone call to speak with your father. Court dismissed! Now what? Like the judge said, you got one phone call. Better make it count. All done? That wasn't a phone call. That was a text message. I still get my call. No way, kid. Text, call, whatever you call it, you just used it. So hand it over.
let me down. bucks I owe you, are you? I know, I know. But you're the only one smart enough to pull off something like this. I guess Diego has to disappear until we figure this out. But there's no reason Zorro can't stay on the case. But where's the truck? It's underground. Interesting. Very what I don't understand is why he didn't come to me if he was in trouble. This just isn't like him. You haven't even touched your breakfast. You've got to keep up your strength, you know. And I've lost my appetite. Truth is, I'm worried sick. But all very worried, sir. Excuse me, Mrs. McAllister. I think I'll go outside and get some air. You do that, laddie. It'll make you feel a wee bit more chipper. Morning, Bernardo. Any news? I see. Well, I'll be outside if you hear anything. Good morning to you. Coming for some takeaway, are you, Bernardo? Two plates, yes? Hope you boys know what you're doing. Mr. De La Vega is worried sick. So, we'll be seeing Zorro on the case? All right then, and tell him to be quick about it. I know, I know, I hate worrying my father. What else can we do? Time for Zorro to get busy. Meanwhile, keep working that computer. We gotta find that hacker. <laughs> No one else can find you. Maybe the Scarlet Whip can. <laughs> Excellente! It would seem the De La Vega's golden boy is nothing but a common criminal. Oh, this news warms my cold heart. <laughs> Finally, the Mui Perfecto De La Vega family is exposed as the imperfect frauds they are. It just goes to show anybody can be a criminal, doesn't matter how much money you give to charity. <laughs> <laughs> Great plan, boss. But how come you never told us you was gonna frame De La Vega's kid? 
because it was not a plan. This arrest is legit. Isn't that right, Sergeant Garcia? <laughs> si, senor mayor. According to the police commandante, it was, how do the kids say, a righteous boss. Oh, no! It's my favorite! Sorry, senor. Hmm, still, as much as I am enjoying this, something just doesn't feel right. Garcia! Go and get me the arrest report. If nothing else, it should make interesting reading. Hmm, good idea. That would make interesting reading. Some say that the De La Vega family has connections to the Zaro legend. Hmm, they're suggesting that Diego's grandfather may have been the last infamous Zaro. Very interesting. Taking into consideration the De La Vega family history and the fact Zaro and Diego are a perfect size match, it all fits. But I've got to be sure. Got to have proof. Perfect. Exposing Zaro will be my ultimate revenge. Irma Salazar? Irma Salazar? Are you sure? What have I ever done to Irma Salazar? I don't think I've ever even spoken to her. Something I'm gonna remedy right now. Time to have a little chat. So the great El Zorro makes house calls now. What are you doing here? I was just about to ask you the same thing. I have reason to suspect that Irma Salazar might know the whereabouts of Diego de la Vega. Funny. I have the same suspicions. But what do you care about some rich kid gone bad? Uh, well, because he's a fugitive from justice and it's my duty to bring him in. Of course I'm not saying he's guilty. Now what's your excuse? There's a $500,000 reward. <laughs> but save the third degree. The girl is long gone. I guess it wouldn't hurt to look around since we're already here. That's interesting. Looks like Irma's been hacking the online DNA identity bank. Apparently her interests don't stop at DNA. I want to get a load of this. Looks like someone's got a little crush on Diego de la Vega. Yeah, well, what do you know? What is it? Something crazy is going on at the Rio Pueblo Bridge. Vamonos! <laughs> the online DNA data bank, too. I just don't get it. She apparently has a serious crush on me, yet she's the one who's framing me. What's she up to? Help! That's Irma Salazar. Help! I'm slipping! Help! Looks like I'm gonna get the chance to ask her myself. See if you can get the bridge down. I'm going after her. You, Diego de la Vega. That's right. I know who you are. And soon everyone else will too.
stop bumping into each other like this. Oh, she got away. Then let's get her. No, we, we can't. She's not involved. And she told me she doesn't know where Diego is. And you believe her? Yes. Salazar, and I have some very interesting information for the mayor. I thought he might like to know the real identity of... Zara. Now that Irma knows I'm Zoro, it's only a matter of time before she exposes me. She's using my hair to match my DNA with Zoro's. This could be the end, amigo. Unless we can split me in two or history. Wait a minute. What if we could do exactly that? Hello, Irma. Well, well, well. Diego de la Vega. I'm surprised to see you here. I'm tired of running. I know you did this to me, Irma. I just want to know why. Revenge. That's why. And now I get the pleasure of personally turning you in and exposing you for who you really are. Senor Zaro. <laughs> you the kid who called? That's right. Now, where is the mayor? <laughs> Got the De La Vega punk, huh? I like your style, kid. But the mayor's a busy man. So why don't you just take the kid here to the cops and collect your reward? Because in this data crystal, I hold DNA proof that Diego de la Vega is in fact... Zaro. So, do I get to see the mayor now? <laughs> the boss is gonna owe us forever when we deliver him Zaro on a silver plate. Yeah, and the reward for bringing in the kid ain't chump change either. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. I was gonna get the credit for exposing Zaro. Me, Armor Salazar, was gonna get notice for a change. You're probably really hating me right now. I don't hate you, Irma. I'm just confused and a little hurt. What did I do to you that made you hate me so much? It's because I have a crush on you. I've always admired you, but you never even knew I was alive. It made me so angry. Not that it matters now, but there's something I have to tell you. What? You're wrong about me. I'm not Zaro. DNA is never wrong, Diego. You are Zaro. I'm sure of it. Uh, this thing says the mayor is Zaro. Uh, I don't think so. The mayor is way fatter than Zaro. <laughs> Uh, the girl is playing with us. Oh, if this is some kind of a joke, it ain't funny, kid. It ain't funny at all. It's correct in most cases. However, it seems that this time you got it wrong. You should be more careful, Irma. People could get hurt. I'm sorry, Diego. I really am. Looks like Zoro saves the day. Again. Hey, what's going on? Diego, you're okay? I, I mean, I know your father was very worried. Yeah. It's been an interesting experience. I can't believe Irma would try to do this to you, all because of some weird crush. Ironic, isn't it? What do you mean? Well, you pay attention to every other girl in school, so... Sounds like she was just a little confused. Yeah. Now that you can show your face around campus again, I'm sure all the freshman girls will be very pleased. Guess I better go check in with my dad. I'm sure he's been pretty worried. 
See you in class, Maria. Okay. And Diego. Yeah? Try and stay out of trouble. I'll see what I can do about that. You okay there, Zaro? <laughs> Did you hack into the DNA data bank and switch my identity with Martinez? Then what happened to my DNA data? Did you delete it? Well, I guess without DNA records, Zaro and Diego might as well be considered persona non grata. So I'm thinking, this worked out so well, maybe you can run around town as Zaro for a while, and I can sit around here eating popcorn and punching computer keys. Whoa! And again, maybe not. <laughs>